cult compound. The cult compound floats above the earth. The residual energy from the floaters inside, those that meditate and float three feet above the floor, helps suspend the building in midair. They have satellite dishes, communication dishes, which allow them to communicate their philosophies and doctrines to the world. There is a guru inside that's invented his own religion. While serving my Mormon mission, I spent some time in West Virginia. West Virginia state flower is often referred to as a satellite dish. One day I was tracking it in a little town somewhere way past Backbone Ridge and the Devil's Seat. The skies were gray with the smoke from the paper mills. It was a sad fall day. I remember walking down the street looking for a house to knock on. Suddenly all the houses seemed shut up and abandoned, weeds growing up in the cracks of the sidewalk. And then I noticed across the street a huge open field full of weeds. Way back in the back of the field was a building. It looked like an old abandoned high school boarded up with an empty parking lot, not a single car. And then I noticed out in the front of this building there were some boards laid out into a 10-foot square in the middle of which a small herb garden grew. And there was a woman working the herb garden. She had a billowing white dress that waved gently and chiffon-like, like lace curtains in an abandoned old home. She gently picked a few herbs. She seemed delighted, had a smile on her face. I went up to her with my copy of the Book of Mormon and asked her if she had religion. She smiled and pointed at the building and said, This is where the guru teaches us. Such amazing and wonderful things are happening in this building. Every moment something new is discovered. Won't you join us? Her eyes were so sweet and beautiful. A flash of terror overtook me as I thought about giving up my church and joining this strange and exotic cult where people meditated all day and ate their herbs and floated three feet above the ground. Something inside me was so terrified. I had to smile and back away. And she asked me again, please, won't you join us? My companion smiled and pulled me away. To this day, I wonder what happens in that building. Is it even there still? Has it floated away, been raptured into the sky? I'm wondering what my life would have been if I would have floated away with them.